couple different designs and I found something quite interesting that uh, essentially uses sensors and engines to trigger different movement. And so you are not directly steering the vehicle, but rather using the engines to turn on at specific times to cause it to steer one direction or another. And I think I, I was doing this, I had eight wheels, it was just like a basic car design and just testing the idea. And so I want to try to make it even better in this episode, but uh, I'll kind of show you the basic concept here. Hopefully I can recreate it perfectly. Um, let's go ahead and put our engine, our engine, our driver's seat down here. We'll put it like right in the middle, I think. And then what I want to do is I want to put an engine here, an engine here, and then an engine in the back. So let me make this even. And uh, it's really simple to do this. And I thought it was really cool. So basically what this does is um, it employs using a sensor to control a s sensor to switch on and off. And so if we put a bearing down here and then we make a – this is a little different because it's uneven, but – um, it should still work nonetheless. Let me just go ahead and hook this up here. I just got to make sure it's going to touch where I need it to. Um, I think that'll work. This left side might be a little tricky here. Unless I can figure out a way to do this. I could maybe come out like this. Let me see what happens then. Comes around the back. Comes around the back. Okay, so I can do it in the back, I think. So if we put a block down here, a block down here. I had it on the side. I had the sensors on the side to start with. If you guys have no idea what I'm even talking about, I'm not explaining myself at all. But I'll just show you, and you'll get the idea here of what I'm trying to do. And so that should trigger the sensors. Well, the sensors are actually on the whole time right now because they're touching the ground. So um, that's okay. We'll, we'll just go from there. And then what I need to do is, um, it's really, it's a really simple idea, concept behind this. I don't know if I should use off-road or sports. I'll do off-road. So let's go ahead and throw down some suspension here. And I want to try to make this even better than what it is because currently it's a little, it doesn't work how, it, it works, but it doesn't work as great as I think it could. And so we put some of these down. I could, you could use blocks if you want to or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Put my big wheels down here. I like the look of the big wheels. You probably could use small wheels too. And I do think that this would work better if you had more wheels. And so that's why I want to try to uh, make this even better. Let's do... I was using those big ones, but let's use the small ones. Actually, you know what? Let's use the big ones. Because I... Um, what about these, actually? Table supports. I'm just trying to... I want it to look cool too. Alright, so then let's... Can we throw... Yeah, sweet. We can throw bearings down on this. Put a wheel on, a wheel on. I think that's how I had it. And then that. And, okay, there we go. So that's the basic design right there. Now, what you do, um, hopefully those sensors aren't on still. They still are, okay, so I need to make this higher. So they weren't on before because, wait, no, they had to be on the whole time. Before when they were, hmm. I, can, I have to figure out how high I need to make this. Because these, these need to come on via this little trigger back here. I guess you could use buttons too. You could use buttons. I'm just using sensors. Because I want to. Alright, there we go. So one more up and it works. So now, that should... Sweet. Okay, so from there what we need to do is we need to connect up... Um, these front engines to to drive these engines will this engine will power these these ones right here and then this engine will power the the inside ones as well and then these back ones will power each side and you might be able to kind of get a, get an idea of what I'm what I'm going for here all right and so then what we need to do is we need to set these. I don't know how I don't know how high I had the other ones set. Um, we'll just do like four. I think it should be okay. And then these ones need to be set a little bit higher. Alright, so that's just on all the time right now for some reason. Oh, it's not set up to the sensors, my bad. Alright. So let's do 
two, I don't know. It needs to be higher. These need to be stronger so that when they're triggered, these spin harder and then it pulls you that direction. And so that's kind of the idea. So you can see it should start working. Yeah, there we go. Turn me side. Oh, that might be too, too, too. All right, all right, all right. It's too extreme. It's too extreme. And the sensors aren't high enough. Because anytime it dips down, it triggers the sensors. And so we need to go a block higher again. <laughs> well, you get the idea here of what I'm going for. It's pretty simple. It's a simple idea. Maybe we'll go too, too higher. And then that way, there's like no way that they can trigger on unless we set it to this switch thing here. Okay, so that's should be good. So now, okay, there we go. That's what it's supposed to do. So now when we drive forward, wow, those are really slow. Holy crap. Those are really slow. Three, and so the, the inside ones, the outside ones are two. So the inside wheels are in set to three, so that it moves normally, and the outside ones just roll with it since it's got the bearings attached, and then if we want to turn to the left, we just, all we got to do is move that block in the back, and vice versa. And so it's a very simple concept, and I think you probably could have this, oh, probably like an under underside design if you wanted to. I just thought I'd put it all on top because it's easier to demonstrate how to do it. So... Now you can see how like this this is pretty effective. It works quite well. But I think it might even work even better if we have even more even more wheels. Um so how many did I just add on there? Oh let me just count this. We added on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should do eight. So we add on eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And we're not on flat ground, so it's not gonna be level. Um oh the, the tree the tree's just down all, on its own. I was like, wait, I there I did not do that. Alright, there we go. So then if we add on, let's see, I don't know, maybe like two more sets of wheels or something. It looks so cool. I think it looks cool. Um, let's just put them right there. How big? Okay, we'll just, yeah, we'll do two more sets of wheels. Or one more set of wheel. On the, One wheel. Two wheels on each side. Goodness gracious. Foot in your mouth right there. Okay. So we'll do that. 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 And that. Not that. Click there. Click, click, clickety clack, clackety clack. All right. There, yes. This is like a rover. Sweet. Okay, so there is a basic freaking rover concept. Look at that thing. And it turns, it actually turns really well too. That is so cool. So now we can like make this thing into, we can add on and actually like make, make it look cool. So let's go ahead and get some blocks out here and let's do, um, I want to, I want to build something. I want to make something with these orange blocks. The orange ones are cool looking. I wish, I can't wait for the paint gun, man. That's going to be so cool. It's going to add a lot of weight on here though. So we need to make sure this is evened out. can't wait for the paint gun we're gonna be able to paint our vehicles different colors it's gonna add a a lot to the uh aesthetic part of the game that's for sure and then there's uh what else is coming there's another tool too that's coming and i can't remember what it is yeah this is so cool i'm so excited that, i'm so glad this worked i built it on a really i built it on a smaller scale at first and I didn't know if it was going to work in a bigger form because of the weight. Oh, it's looking, it's looking sweet. Let's, uh, I got an idea. Make a door. And then we need a controller. Mm. 
And then these will be set up to trigger this to go out. Blue, 90. Red, 90. And what in the heck? Interesting. Okay, so then let's put a let's put a switch down right here. Sweet. So there's that. Switch here too, in case we want to get on this side. What the heck? Sweet. So there's that. So now if I put this down here like this. Sweet. The only problem is, is it's not going to fit perfectly. Be coming off the back, whatever. Dang it, man. I got to find a way to enclose this thing. What if I, uh, hmm, so I don't want to add a whole, I need something in the middle, that's what I need, like that, whoops, can we, how big is this shelf thing, there we go. So then can I add on? This thing is going to be so heavy in the back now, though. It's the only downside of doing this. It's still off center, man. Looks dumb. There we go. Thing is so freaking heavy. Dang it, it looks so stupid. Yo, the thing is huge though. So now we can maybe put some lights on it. Yeah, that looks so cool. Maybe we take this out and make like a, what's it look like from first person? All right, so we'll keep it like that. But then we need to find, is there some kind of smaller thing? What about these I be these long beams? Oh, that'll work. Oh, cool. Um, let's make a window at the back. Yeah, like that. Sweet. There we go. So now what's it look like? Cool, man. That's awesome. So now we just got to somehow... Eh, it doesn't have to be. See, blocked in, but whatever. Hopefully this still opens. Nope. It doesn't. So, is there anything smaller? I beam end. What about if we cap this off? There we go. We could just use the... Uh, the uh, railing ends actually for this. I don't think that matters, does it? No, that doesn't matter. Sweet. All right, so we hit this, open up, come inside here. We need to set these switches maybe to the controller seat too so we can the driver's seat so we can close them. 
Sweet. It still works j just fine. Got to do a sharp turn, so you have to let go of going forward. Nice. That's not too bad. So let's uh, cap this baby off on the top. Maybe I'll alternate these just in case they weigh. I don't know. Oh, perfect. Okay, then we'll put these back out and finish this off. Different colors, but whatever. It's fine. All right, like so. And then I'm going to get rid of these. And we're going to just do this. On the... Stop on the back side. Okay, there we go. This is the rover. It doesn't look the greatest, but it sure is pretty freaking cool. Oh, awesome. Dude, that's so cool. The rover. We're going to go explore Mars. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's a cool look at a really simple different type of design to control uh, just turning in a simple way that is actually very effective except for when you're on uneven terrain and it still goes pretty good too you know sir like right now I'm trying to turn it it's not turning so because of the weight we have to actually let off going forward and then turn sideways thank you so much for watching guys if you like the video click that thumbs up button below feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next